Twitter name. You tell me what your Twitter name is and I'll follow you. It's Belinda Villa Music. <laughs> Good. Doing good. Always looks alive. I didn't even prepare questions at first. I'm so sure they were going to use the same. But let's talk. This morning when you woke up, did you know something you might be in the bottom two? Or? You know what? When I woke up, I thought maybe because the judges were hard on me that my people voted extra hard. And you know what? I still think they did. Um, I still think they voted extra hard. I just think that um, it just wasn't, you know, just – it just didn't happen, you know. It just didn't happen like it was supposed to. Um, or I, it did happen like it was supposed to. I just had hoped, you know, for something different. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I think that as the day went on, I just knew it. I just knew that I was going home. Now, what were the judges saying to you when the um, when the show was over? Mariah was talking to you. What did they say? Oh, they were just saying the nicest stuff, you know. Just they believe in me and they love me and, and um, just that kind of stuff. I mean, now... Keith, I mean, he just said that he fought for me. That's pretty much what he said. So, yeah, but um, Mariah and, uh, Rand, I mean, Mariah said that she just felt like I was going to do a lot of stuff, and Nikki did too. Um, so that was really nice to hear from them. Now, when you were standing up there with Cree, what were you guys saying to each other for Ryan? Oh, I just was telling her to stop worrying because it was <laughs> not going to be her going home. It was absolutely going to be me. I mean, are you kidding me? Uh I knew it was going to be me, um, so that was okay. I just didn't want her to be nervous because, you know, I was like, girl, you don't have to be nervous right now. So, yeah. Now your save song, what made you pick that song? I think I chose that song because um, it was the one that, you know, I did the arrangement to. And, um, and, well, I mean, I did the arrangement for Dumb Blonde, Dumb Blonde also. Um, but it was just like, you know, one of those things I just kind of thought, hey, um, I feel good about everything and just trying to be positive about it. The judges seemed a little, little harsh on you about your song choices yesterday. Now, do you think your song choices may have affected the voting or you didn't stick with your guns? I think that um, my, my song choices kept my fans. Um, they might not have reached out to, to other fans, but they kept my people, and that's, that's the main thing I care about. I'm representing for country music 100%. And um, so that's what I'm trying to do, and that's what I always want to do. Um, and, and so I just felt like my song selections fit what I want to do with my career, and that's what I'm trying to do is have a long career, not just make it on the show. Well, that's great. One thing I like that you always did pick songs that weren't necessarily repeat songs that have been done on Idol year after year, and you got a message from Dolly Parton. How does that feel? That felt so good to hear from Dolly. Oh, man, that was really cool, and uh, it just made me feel good. Yeah. This is your third time trying out. You made the top ten. How has your journey been? What can you say about this whole experience? The whole experience has just been so memorable. I think every year I've walked away with some of the best friends that I could have possibly made. Um, and so it's like, especially this year, I mean, you know, it just, every year I just, I come back with, I'm just going to come back with so many memories. So, yeah, I would come back. I would do it all over again. If I could, if they'd let me come back, I might, I might would do it again. No regrets? That's the best way. Now talk about the tour. You're going on tour this summer, and what are you looking the most forward to? I'm looking most forward to meeting the fans, of course. That's what I want to meet. I, that's what I want to do is I want to talk to those people. Those are, uh, that's my favorite part about it. So. And lastly, I want to ask you about your record. When you start making your kind of style of music, are you coming out with traditional country, old style country? Talk. I'm definitely going to be coming out with traditional country, um, but of course, you know, this kind of stuff is still current. It's going to be current, but um, more on the traditional side of stuff, you know, more rootsy, more, um, excuse me, just more like what I want to do. Um, that's what I want to do, yeah. Well, you'll get a few weeks off. We'll see you at the finale, and always good seeing you.